Tom Gordon, Newcastle County executive and close Joe Biden confidant is here. Walk us through the mindset of our vice president over the last few months. Well, it's good to see you. I'm sure, um, you know, I, I told you I got the, the honor of working with his son for two and a half years I've been back in office. And I'm sure it's all about his son. Had his son not gotten sick, I think it would have been a different outcome. But that's his decision. It was a very tough thing to get over as close as he was with Bill. I understand uh, Bo Biden always talked about his father running. His father, he always, he loved his father. I was in Iowa in 08, and uh, he respected his father greatly and would call people to ask what his father would think. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, you, to have a bond like that and have your eldest son die is something that it was up in the air, whether he could recover. Mm -hmm. Now, Delaware will not have a president, uh, but it's certainly an honor to have, have the a first vice president. Yes. And, uh, you know, he'll still be, uh, you know, contributing in the next election. And uh, I'm sure he'll bring a lot to the to the argument. He's a very much in tune with the middle class and what this country's lost. And uh, he's going to add greatly to that and then re hopefully return to Delaware as a senior statesman and get involved in other things. Tom, tell me, what's the Biden's legacy? Well, it's a big legacy with the first vice president of the United States to live in Delaware. We're still not used to him riding around with all the Secret Service and blocking up all the roads. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's our royalty, that's the Biden family. Having his great son as attorney general, you know, he created his own legacy. So it's kind of our Kennedy family. And uh, we're all very glad to have him back. Well, Tom Gordon, thanks so much for sharing your thoughts.